Hello, what's happening guys? It's the Popcorn Talk, and this is the show where I talk about random subjects, mainly uh, gaming related news or esports. And today I'll be bringing up uh, a game that didn't quite, I think, I think it didn't get that much popular. It hasn't been released yet, but I didn't see many people like talking about this game. And to be honest, I think it's worth, worth, uh, it's really worth like taking a look at. And it's called Battle Ride, yeah. And probably the, the, the title of this video is probably something like Battle Ride, the killer of uh, League of Legends or something. Because I think like after um, the recent events with uh, uh, Riot Games and League of Legends, I think the game is falling apart. And yeah, I don't think actually Riot will do anything about the game, they're just gonna let it go. And I will be talking about that in another video where I'm gonna be ranting about League of Legends and Riot Games. But today we'll be talking about Battle Riot. What is Battle Riot? Who made Battle Riot? And what's the like backstory about Battle Riot? So uh, this is I'm not scripting what I'm talking like I'm talking about right now. Uh, so it's probably I'm gonna be stuttering a lot. I'm gonna be doing something because it's just a talk show. Right? It's just chill now. So. So yeah, just bring your popcorn and let's like talk and hang out. Um, keep in mind if uh, you're gonna share or consider a donation, uh, it will improve the um, the production quality. I'm gonna buy a new um, a new headset, a new maybe I can get a, get a, an HD webcam, uh, which yeah, we're well, gonna start making face cams. Uh, so yeah. Uh, pro also, my like I'm probably gonna make a improve on, an improvement improvement on my internet. So uh, yeah, I might do some uh, live streams because mm, yeah, my upload speed is really bad now. Yeah. Anyway, so let's talk about the game. Best Ride is the new game uh, made by the same people who made Bloodline Champions, but I'm, pro I'm pretty sure like like only 10%. Uh, we'll know what is uh, Bloodline Champions, which is pretty much an old game, was released back in 2009 or 10, and yeah, it got a, it got a really co small, nice community. This, the game still exists now; it's just like on Steam. Uh, but yeah, but the same people uh, who made the Bloodline Champions decided to make a like just like sell that game to Steam or something, and start a new game with the, almost the same kind of uh, gameplay. Uh, but like they tweaked it, they improved the graphics, and yeah, it's now more like hero-based because it used to be it used to be like some sort of class-based. Uh, like the characters didn't have like real names; they just like their I don't know if I would describe their names with probably titles. Uh, for example, Igniter, uh, Metal Warden. Those are not real names, you know, like just like titles for someone. Like a champion, well, yeah, that's what are the theme of the game. It's a champion, so a champion don't really give him a name, give him a title. So yeah, but now it's like how they like the characters. They took some of the old characters and they revamped them. They kind of made the back uh, like a backstory for them. And uh, some of them, you like for people who played Bloodline Champions, will probably recognize some of these champions. For example. Uh, let's take a look at the champions here. So yeah, so I think some of them are actually brand new. So yeah, we'll take a look at the Igniter. It used to be like the iconic character of the game. The Igniter used to be like something. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna show you like something, like how it used to look like. Uh, yeah, you'll see how yeah he was kind of ugly, like compared to like the graphics and stuff. Yeah. This is how he used to look like. And yeah, he used to be like the icon of the game, actually. The game uh, took his face as an, uh, an icon for, uh, I think so, yeah. He was like the iconic characters, like Overwatch had Tracer for their iconic character. And yeah, this game went for this Igniter guy. So yeah, small midget who shoots fireballs. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So, what's uh, what's this game looks uh, like? So, pretty much it's a three v three arena base. So it's like it's like League of Legends and World of Warcraft 
merged together and made something. Uh, I, actually, it's really fun. Like I played Bloodline Champions, and I still like. Even like recently, like a month ago, I played the game. It's still blast. It's still fun. Like just like it feels so outdated. The graphics are, are kind of bad, and yeah, the graphic like the animation are not fluid. And yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying a lot of yes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, those are pretty pretty cool designs. To be honest, uh, yeah. It looks this one looks the Lone Gunner Jade. This is the Ranit. Uh, probably pe a lot of people recognize this guy. He used to be also one of the fan favorites uh, called the Ranit. The Ranit Assassin. Yeah, he used to look like this, but now he's more like a, a reptile or lizard. It's like he looks kind of reptile from Mortal Kombat series. It's kind of cool. Imposer suit. Oh, this is funny. Uh, so yeah, this is how he looks like now. And actually, what I kind of felt kind of nostalgic that they kept actually the old, same old icons. Those are like actually the same old. Uh, uh, exact icons. Uh, this one too. This uh, this is an, actually an old one, but she looks super different from the original version. Uh, I actually I think I recognize this guy. I haven't. To be honest with you, I haven't played a lot of, a lot of like uh, Bloodline Champions. Like I'm level twelve or thirteen, I think now. And it's kind of it's kind of good. Like it's kind of good. Like it's almost like the equivalent of playing. League of Legends and you reached 30 with like 100 uh, or 200 games so yeah I, I got a quite experienced so yeah the arena this is how the arena looks like uh, so from what I know from this company actually the, in the old bloodline champions uh, they made I think four or five maps and it was like each map was totally different from the other one yeah so you won't like get bored of the same like I don't think they're gonna make the same map over and over every game so we can, oh shit sorry so it's gonna get repetitive uh, so yeah I think they won't do that uh, they think I think they're gonna make some sort of um, like winter themed map because those are I'll, I'll show you a couple of footage blood wine champions maps. Let's see. Yeah. So there's this one. Looks like in dark winter. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look bad actually. Yeah, it looks actually like HD or something. I don't know. Maybe this is like picture from the new platform. I don't know. But because it looks kind of cool here. Uh, yeah. So there you have this map. It's like with bridges and stuff. Yeah, this is the old map. This is, uh, yeah, that's also the old map. Yeah, it doesn't look bad, like I said, the maps kind of feel like really good, but the champion's graphics looks really bad. As you can see here, the models feel super outdated. It feels like League of Legends back in 2010. This is just like, yeah, like League kept going because of the, the success that uh, it received as a company. Uh, so the instead of making a new game, they just like updated the old versions and made a bunch of visual updates and reworks. So yeah, to keep the game fresh. Uh, well, let's see. This, this is also uh, no, I don't recognize this map. I, I, I don't think this map actually exists. Does it? Oh yeah, it does. It does. I'm sorry. It's a. I think it's a fighting fight map. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. So yeah, as you can see, like there's a like really a lot of maps that you can like end up in there's like forest map winter map dark map uh like kind of uh yeah so uh, there's a diverse set of uh, maps oh this is interesting actually uh, i don't know if you noticed this but this guy doesn't is not on this list so it's probably new it's like teasing a new uh hero or a new champion yeah because as you can see here, there is no character, such a character with uh, like this kind of wolf. Yeah. So yeah, this is pretty cool. 
she has a pet or something. Uh, the set of skills in this game, uh, so it's like a W, A, D kind of control. Uh, so you're using, it's not a mouse click uh, like to move, but the camera angle is uh, top down. Uh, your abilities are gonna look something like uh, like the key. The, the keys are for your key, like your abilities are gonna be something like Q, E, R, and F. Your ultimate is gonna be your uh, F. Your Q is gonna be basic ability. Your E is gonna be uh, also basic ability, and R also is the basic ability. It's not ultimate for R. It's just uh, it's F instead. Uh, there's something else called X abilities. Uh, those are something s kind of special, I think, in this game, where it's actually you're using the same ability but in a different kind of way. Uh, so, for example, let's say you have a healing ability uh, for your allies, but uh, you can use the same ability with the same cooldown uh, on enemy target, and it will. Um, uh, affect them negatively of course uh, it's pretty much like for example let's for all you League of Legends players there uh, let's say you're using Lulu's E instead of using it on an ally to shield them you just you're using them on enemy to deal damage to them so yeah that's the idea yeah, yeah it's, they call it X abilities uh, so, yeah. uh, so you can sign up for the beta and you get a uh, chance into the access. I secured myself an access. So let's take a look at the uh, like gameplay footage. We rise from the ashes. We stand victorious. Yeah, the map looks gorgeous. We will win the crown. Oh my god, the animations feel so nice. It's so fluid. Action is so intense. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, but like you have also left click and right click. Are they they are used like left click for your basic attack, uh, and right click is kind of a basic attack too, but it's kind of stronger basic attack. That is also on a really short cooldown, like two seconds cooldown maximum, or three maybe. Depends on the character, of course. So yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. So it's it's like action slash and hack arena game so it's really quite original concept it's really cool it's so fun it's intense and yeah i think uh, uh, there is a future for this game nice that was nice like the, the leap like the, that kind of thing, like hero leaps. Prepare. Oh my god, this this girl Jade it feel, it's gonna be like something epic. To be honest, I feel like she's some some sort of like uh, high skill range type of character. I, I like dual wielded characters with uh, uh, revolvers, and the, uh, it's pretty much like a Jin, but like if Jin was, this is like double badass than Jin because not only she has uh, a sniper like Jin. But she does. She has two revolvers. That's cool. Uh, I mean, that's to be honest, it's gonna be really cool. For a battle of reaction. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Timing. No, this is the sniper. Precision. Oh my god, that that feels so satisfying. Executing something, someone with that sniper must feel so good. This guy. Oh my. Look at the details, it's so, so, it's really, really nice, nicely done. Like, there's, this guy, like, uh, he's using a sort of minigun or something. Uh, yeah, and there's, like, the bullets coming out of and going to the ground. It has jetpack, and there's, like, this guy with some sort of his ultimate. That it works really cool. Oh, by the way, guys, this is not a sponsored video. I did not get paid. It's not like I have the biggest YouTube channel anyway. But this is not a sponsored video, I promise. It's just like my love for this game uh, when it got announced a couple of months ago. Uh, I'm actually really hyped to try this game out. And it's, it looks very promising. And I thought 
why not? I should share this uh, game with the world because I don't think it's gonna uh, be really popular. I don't know. I hope they boost their advertising, like their advertisements, and make this game really, really popular. Like they know these people feels like someone like people with experience. Like they know how to make a majestic mage look so badass and powerful. Like it feels like there's gonna be so many voice lines, so many epic fights, uh, outplays that kind of intense combat. It feels like League of Legends, but it, actually it's better than League of Legends. This is why. One of the reasons I like I actually stopped playing League of Legends is like the snowballing in League is so disgusting. Because if you get behind, like let's say someone like got a couple of kills, they're gonna buy a couple of items and they're gonna wreck everyone else. It's just if they're good, they're gonna be like powerful and good, both at the same time. Like the game is not equal. That's what I hate about League of Legends. That the, like the fact the items make the a champion so powerful it's just disgusting uh, so yeah I th th this game has no items it's like both of the, both of you are equal in stats from the beginning to the end of the game that's what I like it's I like it to be fair because in League of Legends someone else gets fed on your behalf and it's not your fault because someone else was being like bad and yeah it's just it's just kind of unfair, like if let's say you were like equal or winning by a bit in your lane but someone else on your team was hardcore feeding, like he died twice or three times in a row and yeah, like just makes the game very unbalanced. Anyway, so let's keep watching. I hope like there's, uh, there's something like this kind of music in the game because I recently played Smite and there is no background music and it's just like really bad, yeah. And I hope like the sound effects like when you hit something feels impactful and feels like like you actually did that kind of ability. Like I want that to feel that. I am thunder. Oh nice, she, she looks like someone was like Thor or something. Oh, I recognize this guy. He got he got reward too. He looks better now. So actually, he looks way much better. He looks like the Grim Reaper. He's called the Harbinger. Let me show you how he used to look like. Fuck. No. Just forgot to add bloodline champions. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he used to look like this. It's not bad, but it's kind of fat, chubby guy, uh, which uh, yeah, I think it's kind of weird for <laughs> for a Grim Reaper to be chubby. It's pretty much looks like a triangle, like just imagine a pyramid here, and yeah, it's not a cool looking harbinger. But if he's like a, a harbinger, should be either skinny or someone with a hunchback and a scythe. Uh, so that's cool, but this no, no. You know, one of his abilities is actually a pretty cool one, which is like, as you can see, it's this one. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. He throws some sort of uh, shadow dark hand, and that, if it connects, it's gonna do quite good, like, burst of damage, plus it's gonna grab the target. So, it's super rewarding. This is fighting in its purest form. The highest levels of combat ever seen. Right. New chapter for Bloodline Champions. To be honest, this is this is this looks sick. This is this is insanely good, good quality, good graphics, good voice lines, which is at least from what I'm seeing, fluid, intense, and fast-paced. That's what I'm looking for. Also balanced. Uh, if this game actually becomes really balanced and there's no pay-to-win features on anything. Uh, from what I heard, they like I was actually talking to one of the developers, and they told me that they removed something called the medallions from Bloodline Champions, which is actually I thought it's a kind of bullshit thing to add in the game. Uh, 
the first place. Bloodline Champions has like some sort of feature called the Medallion. It's a really complicated thing. It's pretty much like getting gems and using these gems in the game. And those gems like are super, super like situational and almost no one uses them because they're very like they're like very complicated, very how can I very unnecessary. There you go. So yeah, like you can check this website. You should guys like try it out. It's I, I highly recommend this game. So yeah. Um I'll leave a link in the description and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this game. Uh, and if you got the access to the game, uh, hit me up, tell me in the comments, and I'll play it together. We'll play it together. I'll, maybe I'll record it and upload it on my YouTube channel. And see, actually, I, I can't be like I can't judge yet because I haven't tried the game yet. But I'm gonna record a video and tell you what's going on, what's good, what's bad. And uh, yeah, after all, this is it's gonna be the beta or alpha, I think. And yeah, it's not actually the final product, so it won't be a review, just like how my first impressions about the game. That's just it. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe, uh, like or dislike, tell me uh, what do you think of this video. If I shouldn't keep on making this kind of talk shows where I talk about this uh, gaming news, gaming related stuff, uh, esports, anything, um, like my kind of... Um, I like to discover new MMOs, and my thing is actually being competitive. Uh, th the games I play is mostly Overwatch, Hearthstone. Uh, well, well, I just deleted League of Legends because I think uh, I don't know. I'm not satisfied with the current state of the game. I might I might reinstall just to try out the new patch, like the new champion clad. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, if you have like an MMO you should we like take a look at, uh, just tell me, uh, I'll tell you what I think is good, what I think is bad, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video and I hope to see you again, see ya.